Okay, so here we go. We're gonna check the lows, cars running. 28, 38, 45 hertz. Let's check it out. Ooh, that is low. Power acoustic coming out swinging with the improved RZ R12500D amp. Now it's not a new amplifier and other YouTubers have dynoed it in the past and have actually found that it did pass the one ohm test, but Power Acoustic was only rating it down to two ohms. And now the box says that this new improved version is actually stable to one ohm and is a perfect pair for two Gothic subwoofers. When I read that I was like, I have that. Here's a quick look at the specs on the box. It actually states on there that it does 900 watts at 1 ohm, but for some reason they're still sticking to that 2500 watt max rating. So did Power Acoustic actually upgrade the components? Did they tweak the design at all? Can it actually run 1 ohm? In fact, the final ohm load on my two Gothic subwoofers is actually half of an ohm, or 0.5. What happens if we just put it in full send mode, give her all the onions, and just see what happens? There's only one way to find out, and that's to do it. I really hope I'm not going to just waste a hundred dollars so to test this out i'm actually on the original old route 66 the og out in the middle of nowhere because it's going to be loud and this kind of comes in perfect timing because for my 94 buick roadmaster's 30th birthday 294 i'm actually going to be upgrading a couple things one is the amplifier which is already upgraded. A couple other birthday presents it's gonna get is a brand new receiver, an awesome receiver. And we're gonna go ahead and throw new speakers in the doors as well as back in the catwalk. Now, just to make sure we're not giving it any cheap shots, we're gonna give it enough full power. I've installed a second battery. Uh, probably not gonna be able to see it, but the amp's sitting down there. I don't have it secured. I don't have the wires all pretty or anything, even though you can't really see it because the box takes up everything. But We've got good wire, good power, everything's grounded, fused. It should get enough power to let it do the damn thing. So, all right. Start it to make sure we're getting proper voltage. Wait till everything comes back up. I don't like this boss head unit. I can't wait to get a new one. But all right, we're gonna turn it up uh, about to 25. That's probably gonna be winging. And then we will turn the volume down on the phone. We are running. All right, let's see what it does. You can hear it in. Okay. on the OG 66. Oh, oh, oh. This thing hasn't bumped like that since I had that, uh, what I have in here? Phoenix Gold, yeah, I had a Phoenix Gold Rival 800. Pushed about 800 watts. Yep, I'm happy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna check the lows, cars running. Uh, Love Sosa decaf. 28, 38, 45 hertz. Let's check it out. is low so maybe some dynamat is gonna be uh, in line in the future because yeah it rattles a lot that's my favorite part right there but another thing we're gonna do for the old girl for her birthday I'm sure you noticed I have some kind of bad paint we're gonna paint the trunk lid we're gonna go ahead and cover up the American flag but that's got to get painted and as you can see also have to paint the hood coming over here 
I actually have upgraded every single ground and power wire on this vehicle. And with the spare battery in the back, I think we're going to be doing pretty well. So yeah, be sure to subscribe and stick around for that. Uh, going to kind of do maybe a little bit of a vlog actually on Miss Elizabeth. That's my car's name. If you're subscribed, you can get notifications for that. And then you can check that out as I upload them. But now what I think we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the amplifier here. It's kind of hard to see back there. I'm going to disconnect it all. We're going to take it out, go over some of the features and stuff like that. And also, let's take the bottom off of it and let's check out the amp guts on it. Okay, so as you can see, this is quite a small amplifier and they pack a lot of power into it. I ran this thing for a long time. I beat the crap out of it. It didn't feel warm. To, it felt a little tiny warm to the touch, but it wasn't anything too drastic by any means. Um, so off of first impressions, and I'm not really too familiar with, you know, the original one, but I'm starting to wonder if this isn't just the same thing. The only difference that I can see off the bat is that it this one comes with two 50 amp fuses, and I believe the other one actually came with two 30 amp fuses. So it still has the same 8 gauge terminals uh, even for the remote which I don't know why they do that um, this is what I had everything set to uh, as far as the gain subsonic bass boost and all that uh, there's where the bass knob goes I don't even have that hooked up yet that's your high level inputs here's your low level it does have a power and protect LED it's very it weighs pretty good amount I mean this thing feels very very well made um, it is a Korean made amp, so that is very good. We like that. Now, Bass Dad actually did a video on this and, well, the, the before version apparently, if they even changed anything. And I have a screenshot of when he took the back off of his and uh, after he dynoed it. Basically, he dynoed it and I think it did run 1 ohm and I think it got like 899 or 900 watts at 1 ohm dynamically. Maybe they just took that and actually, uh, you know, went with it through that on their box, which they did indeed change the box. I couldn't stand the look of that old box, the white and orange. It looked like a bad thumbnail. So, and that's kind of, you know, one of the other things that a lot of people have a problem with power acoustic, not because it's bad quality or anything like that. They seem to be really well made. People like them. They're just very upset about them lying about the wattage. I mean, honestly, they could take this same amp, change this 2500D to 900.1, RZR1, 900.1. That would be a lot more honest, and that would, you know, I feel like it would give them a lot more credibility. I mean, you got to think, 900 watts for $100 from Walmart, and if it's pretty decent quality, you know, what? what's the... I don't understand why we wouldn't do that, but in any event... Like I was starting to say, I have a screenshot here that I will put up and show you. And uh, maybe we can kind of compare the screenshot of the inside that Bass Dad had compared to what the inside of this one looks like. It looks like I'm going to void my warranty, so that sucks. So, here we go. Okay, so like I said before, we'll go ahead and throw that screenshot up. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this one that is in my hand right now. I have to admit, I mean, the components seem very, very well made. Everything seems well made. A lot of surface mount design, and that's just to kind of make it smaller, have a smaller footprint. I don't know, honestly, pretty good looking little amp, and um, I, I like it. But yeah, you know what, I'm not even mad. I'm kind of, I'm not really mad. Um, I know it's kind of a competitive market, and I, I guess, but I don't understand why they rate these things the way that they do. I know I'm just kind of at this point beating a dead horse because, you know, everybody's saying the same thing, but power acoustic, man, just change that 2500 watt to 1000 watt, sure. Sure, why not? I, I mean, you know, it gets a lot closer to a thousand than it does, you know, the actual twenty five hundred. But um, that's still so very admirable, you know, to have almost a thousand watts for a hundred bucks from Walmart. I mean, can't really beat it. But in my opinion, 
I'm a big fan. I was kind of scared because of that small amplifier or that all-in-one amplifier that Power Acoustic did that I did a review on. There was so much noise, just idle, you know, uh, coming through from the power. I don't know if that was something on my end or whatever happened, but just the unwanted amount of noise was insane. This thing is dead silent. I have to be honest, I really like this little amp and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, integrating it into my car's system and uh, looking forward to all the other upgrades we're going to be doing. Definitely, like I said, stick around for that. Uh, we're going to be doing painting, adding speakers, head unit, a lot of different stuff to it. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one and I'm going to put this back together and then go hook everything back up and then uh, probably make the neighbors mad at me. But it's alright. They're base heads too. Alright, thank you guys so much. Have a good one.